Monmouth Bank and on another fishing. Fishing. Where are we, mate? We're at Cartington Fisheries. We are on New Pepper. It is Sunday afternoon. Yep. We're down here for a few days. I'm a bit longer than time, but 48 hours minimum each. Yep. I'm in swim number nine. He's going in swim number 11. Me being excited, well, me saying that, that's an understatement right now. I'm pretty excited because there, there is some carp in there of our dreams in this lake, isn't there? Uh, supposedly, if not 20, just under 20 40s. And we need a 40, so. Yeah. This is going to be the place to get them, I reckon. There's like a, a, a lorry load of 30s. And a rumoured 50 or so, but we're, no one really knows about that too much. But, um, yeah. We done, yeah? Yeah. Should we go and get these so, rods out? I was out? watching the water, you know. I mean, <laughs> last time I was in Swim 9, it was about four years ago, during a storm. He was up there somewhere. Oh, the and storm, that, that was that was ridiculous. I remember my cradle just... Gone. It was gone, it was halfway up the bank. The weather is... Again, with everything else. So yeah, I was in nine then, and when I think back to it, I didn't have a clue what I was doing really. I'm not saying I do now, but I'm a bit better now, so I yeah. to actually. Uh, obviously, see a few weeks ago, I caught a couple of nice ones from here, but they were all off the top, so I want to get one off the bottom. This is going to be the session for it, so fingers crossed. Yeah, but you saying last time I was here, um, I was literally spotting out tons of ground bait, but since then we found out that less is more on this lake. Absolutely. So um yeah, let's get it, let's go and get the rods in. Alright, catch us in a bit. Alright now people, so welcome to my swim. This is uh Shadeville. I'm in the corner, it's shady. I suspect it's gonna get quite chilly. That's what we're working with. So I've got both my rods out, it's only a two rod rule on this lake. That's a little bit annoying but we'll we'll go over it. Two rods. One's got an IQD rig on with it just to sell wafter, and one's got a hinged pop-up rig type thing on, just on the chance that there's probably a lot of leaf and debris in the water. So I want one presented a bit differently. So we've got one rod. Some zoom in action. It's a bit. Where are we? We've got one. Hard to tell. Somewhere in somewhere in there. Up close. And the other one's kind of in the middle of the gap, pretty much. That one's got the hinged pop-up in it. And the one up quite tight to the margin, that's the IQD rig one. So, two rods are out. I'm feeling excited, you know? The potential to catch a 40 in this lake is far higher than I've had in any other lakes we've fished, really. I mean, Elphix we've started going to. Obviously, it's quite a good chance there. But, solid number of them in here, so I'm, fingers crossed we can get one of them. Fingers crossed we don't blank, that's a start off there really. But yes, uh, I'm in swim 9, Tony's in swim 11. I believe these are some of the best swims supposedly on the lake. Couldn't tell you for sure, all I know is I fished this swim once before, many years ago. Blanked, did nothing. So hopefully we can fix that problem this session. But yeah, that's the lie of the land. That is where we're at. And uh, yeah, stay tuned for some updates hopefully. Next time this video's on or Tony's is on, there'll be a carp on a rod. Stay tuned, see you in a bit. Ooh. Here we go. Fish numero uno potential. That R4. We only got here at one, so we'll take this as a starter. We're in swim 11, I'm sure he's told you that. This is the one that was on that point there. Was it on? That is the one, isn't it? Yeah. Yes, mate, yeah, it was on the point. Now this could be all kinds, all kinds of fish, all kinds. I'm not going to lie mate, but it's got that nice, um, large fin. Well, I do appreciate you not lying to me, I've got to tell you. Yeah. Let me get this net action ready. I think we're going to do a bit of a prompt and have a go. Oh, he's just here. Mid-domestic, because he's got a bit of a dying battery on alarm one. And his other rod just literally... Why didn't that one beep? I don't know. Maybe that's the dead one. Maybe. Because <laughs> the rod just went. I sort of yabbed me now. Yeah, I'm not sure. 
Yeah, it's not premium, is it? We'll, we'll, we'll put up with it though, for the sake of the cap. Talk to me about your baits and rigs on this one, time. Well, this one is, um, well, my rig is my little com um, combination rig, mm -hmm. but IQD style. Mm -hmm. And the bait is, um, is the TN TNT from um, Steamies. Another fish just flopped on the exact same spot. Well, rod's probably only been in the water about an hour or two in it maximum. Yeah, something like that, mate. Come on, give us a peek. It took me about. Come on, give us a snake, give us a snake peek. It's exciting. It's exciting when it could be anything. We could be talking. We talk about PBs, we could be, I don't know what we can get, there's so much, we could, so much potential in this lake. Just take the line. Play it great. Oh. Where are you? Let me see you. The lack of snake peaks getting on my nerves. <laughs> I saw a tiny bit of fish just then, but not enough to be able to gauge anything. Just it looked like a quite a light coloured fish. But. Perseverance tone in hitting that spot. Yeah, it was. Like I said, it took me like six attempts. But we got there. Oh, you got there. And then another fish just jumped, not next for a second, but a minute ago, just flopped out on the same spot. So yeah, all I did is I put, including my hook bait, I just put five freebies in um, in PVA mesh, and that was it. That's it. That was it. Yeah, nothing about. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Uh, I'm going to make an early call that's a common. Oh god, yeah. This is like the third time I've been here, and I've, this is the first time I've got action. Action. Solid chunk of the tail on that one. Yeah, I'm thinking you took the battery out of the wrong alarm. <laughs> because that one didn't make a... that didn't do anything. No. Because <laughs> your rod started leaving the, leaving the facility. I saw that out. Even if it means you only fish with one rod till tomorrow, maybe, who knows? Yeah. You've got this, this rod on the spot, don't matter. Comfortable watching it as much as it is playing it. Someone fishing. I do need to remember that I am. The first one. Man, oh, hundred percent. Is is the worst one in it? Mhm. Mm I'm gonna guess twenty-four pound. Yeah. <laughs> Based on nothing, I've still not really seen it. <laughs> it's just going around in, in, the water, in circles at the moment. It doesn't want to come up. Ooh. Maybe a ghosty? It looks a bit like a ghosty, doesn't it? That, that's very ghosty. It's a 
fish though. It maybe felt more because it was a lot further up than me. Oh, so I can't pull it in. <laughs> Ghost dude. We have fish and we have it in the net. Oh look at that. All kinds. Hey, she's um not the biggest, but gotta be one of the prettiest. What do you reckon? It's a ghosty mirror. Not bad after a couple of hours, eh? No, it's okay. What do you reckon? Teens? Teens. Teens, mid-teens. 15, you're going? 14. Ooh, I'll go, I'll go 15. But I'm, I'm rubbish at that, so... The early door suspicion of a big one. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I was like, yeah, it's, uh, it's some, well, so it's huge. <laughs> somewhat wrong. Got a while, the, um, the sling has been taken off. Oh, eagle eyes. Beautiful. You know, we always get some a lot of comments to be fair, but I don't know why. I don't really want to um, do myself out of weights, you know? Oh, I know. It might be one of the smaller in the lake. <laughs> Twelve and a half. Oh, there you go. I <laughs> <laughs> didn't know there was fish that small in here. But, you found it. Come then, you little sexy carp, you. There we go. Like we said, not the biggest in the lake, but it's got to be one of the prettiest. Um, caught her on a little combination of two materials on my rig. A bit of braid, a bit of, um, what am I know? On a TNT base from Steamies, which is tiger nut and toffee. Um, I used what five boilies in the mesh bag, and including the, the hook, the hook bait, six boilies in all. Nothing really, and um, oh, back me a carp. What do you reckon? Beauty. You right? It's a good looker. Hey, I'm off the mark. My first one from Cottontons. Now we get one double, and then we get one double as big as that one, and we get a fifty. Job done. Job done. <laughs> Right, should we get her back, mate? Let's go crack on. Let's do it. Thank you. Just, just gone down. Just sit down there. <laughs> yeah. There we go, Tom. Yes. Number one. Nice one, mate. Beautiful start. Now I'll sort this admin out. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna have to. There's a bit of an issue going on here. But there we go. Crack on. So, before I cast this back out, this is the rig that done me the bite. So, we got um, 20 pound IQ, hook link there, and we got 20 pound end trap, and that's a combination. So what I've done was the end trap stripped all, stripped all the coating off it and then <clears throat> just revealed the braid underneath and I've um, tied the two materials together with an all bright knot and um, I've tied the braid onto the hook itself with a, um, a five turn blood knot and I've slipped on there a um, medium size D kicker with a uh, micro wing swivel and this is a size six um, curved shank hook and then the bait is the um, TN, TNT bait from um, Steamies so yeah that is my rig that done me the bite um, try it out you know um, see what happens Same. 
keeps it keeps um does keep having a little tear off. Is it the same is it the same spot? Yeah. I like that spot. It is, isn't it? £120. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We're definitely in Thailand. <laughs> yeah. What we're saying about the taste of diesel? Or just the casual? The casual one, really. <laughs> and then I'm just watching my line. Turn turning into a washing line. Oh. And I was like, why is it? Where's my. Um... I think it's because the sensitivities are really down. Mm -hmm. On the same bait again, could be the one. Yeah. It's either the absolute bait or you're in the absolute spot. Both. You can take in a little bit of those for. Yeah, you should. <laughs> I need some of those for me. It's not what you know, it's who you know. Yeah, it's good. No thanks. Yes. Secured the left fish. Thanks, mate, for your net action. It was, it was what some would call textbook. <laughs> yeah, it was pretty decent, mate. <coughs> it's a twenty. It's, it's a twenty. You reckon that's a twenty? Let me pay it again. Yeah, it's a twenty. 21.8. 21.8. I was going to say mid 20s. Pick it up first. Let's have a little visual of it. We ain't looked at it yet properly. Yeah. There we have it. Same rig, same bait. Yeah. Same yeah. spot. Same spot. Lovely jubbly. Oh, I don't know, I reckon. 24. Let's do it. Let's do the, the weight hard. Check them fins. Check them. All about the gap, yeah. Alright, I said 20. What did I say? 21 8. You said what? 24. It's like 23. Twenty-three-two. I'm happy with that. Oh, you'll take it. I will. So, what is it roughly, time-wise? I've no idea. It's too deceptive in this I time can of day. Tell, you that. tell me the update. It is 1848. You're looking at 648. We got here at 1 p.m. Give or take a lot of admin. Not bad for two fish. Yeah. There we have it. Would you say 23, 2? 
yep. of Cottonton's mirror. She was off the point of the island and um, yeah, it's done me two bites now so I'm happy with that. On the TNT. On the TNT, which is tiger nut and toffee from Steamies. Beautiful. Yeah. It's doing a business. Why should we put her back? Yes, yeah, with some snappy snaps. Oh, number two. Cool. There you go. Nice one. Thanks, mate. Ah. Right, number yeah. three. You enjoy yourself getting that rod back yeah. out there. Yeah, it's going to be. I don't know. We try it, <laughs> won't we? Well, the people. It is the morning. It is about 8 a.m. And there's been a change. I have not had anything happen last night. I had a sleepless night, to tell you the truth. Bit of insomnia, I think, or something. Just couldn't get to sleep. So, a lot of thinking, a lot of moving, a lot of listening. And I heard a lot of fish boshing out the water, but nothing anywhere near me. So, at 5 a.m. this morning, I've actually moved down all my stuff, and I'm now in swim number 10, next to Tony. And now, we're at this action. Yesterday, when we was knocking about, walking around, waiting and watching, did see a couple of fish bosh out underneath the tree. And Tony said he'd see some as well. So, I've moved up here, put the effort in. We've got one rod, if we can make it out. Two big bits of bush, a bit of a gap in the tree. Smashed it in there, eight and a half wraps. And then on the left of the island, there's a wooden pole. I think that's like a swim edge indicator type thing. And about eight wraps. Got one this side of the pole. Both on gravelly spots. So, feeling a lot more confident right now. Both on the IQD rigs, both with an IR cell wafter and just a little mesh bag of five boilies, same to what Tony did. And yeah, so, fingers crossed that the effort pays off. Because at 5am it was pitch black and lugging all my stuff up here, even though it's not a massive distance, weren't fun, but because I was so damn awake, because I've had no sleep, it's casual. So I'm feeling a lot more confident here, as I said. Heard a lot of fish boshing out last night, and from where I was laying, it was all coming from this way. Nothing happened that way. And my other thought was, a lot of the fish we've seen have been in the deeper areas of the lake. I don't know the depths of that bit, but that's right next to Old Pepper, so it's probably the shallowest bit of New Pepper. We've moved up here, bosh bosh, two rods are out, we're feeling good, we're feeling fruity. Let's get some carp. This is the run you did about five times. This one's in, the one in the bay, yeah. <laughs> Perseverance is key. Yeah. I think it's just gone 6 pm, half 6, 6, somewhere in that, in it that, is, it is. In that area. Could be safe. Do you want it to take it around into swim 16? Yeah, it's not the best place for it. No. You're right if you're looking at it on the top of the wheel. Oh, it's come off. What? Oh no! Oh, sack for blood. It's come off. Right, I thought I'd give you a little evening update. It's about 10 past 7 at night. Ooh, 13 minutes past seven. Um, so today, it's been a quiet one today. Really, really quiet. Up until about 40 minutes ago when I had a ripper off for take. I was playing it for a bit and I thought I was playing it really well. Um, you know, it was going well. And then all of a sudden the um, 
hook pulled so I reckon it's just a bad hook hold um, because I don't think I was doing anything wrong I wasn't bullying it or nothing so and as all anglers say the one that got away it felt decent <laughs> it did feel decent but hey that's fishing you know um, that happens it's got in at the time but you know you just have to chin up and move on to the next the next one so the other reason why I'm checking this my last last night tonight I've got to be off at um, 7 tomorrow morning so I'm gonna be up about 5 and just start packing away and um, get home but Baker is staying on for another day so it's Tuesday tomorrow he's staying on till Wednesday so um, hopefully he can catch himself a carp and save a blank because he's going through the mill at the moment sitting behind motionless rods so I hope he does catch one before he goes so yeah that is it for me um, I think I'll be done for this year you know it's Christmas is just around the corner and everyone knows how expensive Christmas is so um, I have got another session my next session is booked on here in March next year so that's it that's me done um, so yeah if you don't see me with another fish tonight I'm off skis so thanks for watching and um, you'll see me in the next one. Giraffe now.